SCP-001 is one of the Foundation's biggest mysteries. This is because 001 is not a single entry, but is instead a collection of over 30 proposals, with many of them being decoys or fakes. As such, one of them, or perhaps a combination of them, could be 001's true nature. This begs the question, which of the proposals are actually real? In this video, we try to answer this question. Also, don't forget forget to subscribe to our channel with notifications on so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Before we start with the proposals, we first need to define what we consider to be a real SCP-001. As we know, at some point in recent history, SCPs began to appear, and the Foundation started to contain them. And these anomalies didn't appear out of nowhere. And being the first SCP, in our opinion, 001 should explain where and how all these SCPs began to appear. So with this out of the way, Let's begin with the proposals. Starting off with the prototype, this is a powerful alien humanoid that can create radioactive waves and many singularities. Also, it eliminated Dr. Keter, which was the inspiration for the Keter object class. But as we see, this entry is more a monster rather than a 001 proposal which explains everything, so it must be a decoy. Next up, we have the lock, which is a small gem that has an infinitely complex lock, requiring a key. Unfortunately, this lock has never been opened, and the object is indestructible, so we don't know anything about this proposal. As such, we assume it's a decoy. Moving on, we have the legacy, which is a collection of objects, including a diary. This diary tells the story of a human race in an alternate reality, which corrupted the world by bending the rules of reality a bit too much. As such, this corruption could theoretically be responsible for the appearance of anomalies in our world, but in this diary, it is stated that a solution to this corruption was found, so this proposal likely isn't real. Next up, we have the Foundation, which is an old high school building with shifting rooms, disappearing items, and weird humanoids within. So, as we see, anomalous objects do appear inside but they usually stay inside. As such, this 001 entry is probably a decoy. Moving on, we have the Gate Guardian, a massive entity wielding a fiery sword. This entity allegedly ordered the Foundation's original founder to prepare, inspiring him to start containing anomalies. But still, the Gate Guardian does not explain the origin of all SCPs, so we would consider it a decoy. Next up, we have 30 a collection of 36 individuals which are capable of neutralizing any SCPs they come into contact with. Also, it is heavily implied that if they all come together, they will neutralize all anomalies. But unfortunately, this 001 proposal shows us how all SCPs will disappear, not how they first appeared. Similarly, a good boy is a neural network which can give us information on how to destroy anomalies. Also, this is the only proposal which is explained because it is an ordinary computer. Also on the list of probable decoys is Keter Duty, a proposal which details a method of dual containment, where two SCPs which cancel each other out are kept together. Moving on, When Day Breaks is a proposal which tells us how the world will end. And according to this entry, the sun will transform and cause all living things to melt. Of course, this proposal shows us how the world will end, not how all SCPs appeared. The same can be said about the world's gone beautiful and the sky above the port, which both detail the events that will occur when the world ends. Following this, Normalcy is a document which defines what is anomalous and what is not, and though very helpful when it comes to classification, this entry does not explain where all SCPs come from. The next proposal consists of a man that through manipulation of certain parts of his body can affect how humans expire, and although this man can alter reality, we doubt he created all SCPs. 
To the contrary, the Scarlet King is powerful enough to create anomalies, and this deity has already done this, because as we know, SCP-682 and 999 are actually his children. However, from what we know, he only has 7 children, so we doubt the Scarlet King single-handedly created all SCPs. This is also the case with the Factory, a massive production facility built in the 1800s by a devil worshipper. And of course, this wasn't any ordinary factory, because through the use of dark powers, the factory owner could create anomalous objects. As such, many SCPs were built in this factory, but not all of them. As such, both the Scarlet King and the factory could be a part of 001's true nature. The same can also be said about Dr. Wondertainment. This entity is a reality bender that makes toys, all of them being anomalous. The next few proposals are probably all decoys. We have Project Palisade, which is an entity that can destroy reality and is being kept at bay by an array of alternate dimensions used as shields. O513 is a proposal which tells us that all the O5 members are anomalous, except for the last one, O513, something which makes him anomalous in comparison to all the others. The next entry, Fishhawk, is more a tale rather than a proposal, because this entry details a Foundation employee who is trying to figure out which 001 entry is real. Moving on, the Tindalus Trinity is a set of three timelines which intertwine. Twine. This proposal is very bizarre, and it's near impossible to summarize, but it doesn't answer the million dollar question, where all SCPs come from, so it's likely a decoy. Next up, we have the solution, a machine made by the foundation that can collapse reality in the case of an end of the world scenario, and then recreate it using our data. However, this machine became faulty, and when the foundation restarted it, it broke, forgot what what the old universe was like and tried to create a new one using incomplete data. But still, in the end we are reassured that things are more or less the same, so we doubt this machine brought all SCPs to life. And on the topic of alternate realities, we also have the world at large, which explains how a human race from an alternate reality planted life on Earth in order to continue their existence after their universe was destroyed. However, this civilization wanted to continue humanity, so we doubt they would make this harder by introducing anomalies. Also relating to alternate realities, the consensus tells us that reality was once different and that it was restructured, and that only the all five members remember the previous world. However, it is not stated that this change had anything to do with the appearance of anomalies, so this entry is likely a decoy. And speaking of decoys, God's blind spot is probably also fake. This proposal consists of a spot, designated Facility T, that prevents all humans from expiring within this area. And this spot was supposedly created by an omnipotent god. And we believe this proposal is fake, because the SCP wiki is full of insanely powerful creatures, and we doubt there's one specific god that's truly omnipotent. Next up, we have a record. This 001 proposal is a slot which makes whatever is written within absolutely true. In fact, a researcher already used this object in such a way so as to make herself god. Of course, this slot could have been used to create at least some of the anomalies in the wiki, but this isn't mentioned in the proposal, so we doubt this is the case. And finally, we have Ouroboros. This proposal is a set of four entries which exist simultaneously. The first one is a set of nine anomalous children which can destroy stuff. The second one is the broken god, the god of all machinery. The third one is Atonement, a researcher that can destroy all most multiverses, slowing down the spread of anomalies, and the last one is the way it ends, a diary of the chaos insurgency on their quest to eliminate the O5 council. And once again, we have a proposal that though very interesting, does not explain the appearance of all anomalies. So as we see, so far, we've had very few proposals which hint at a possible origin of all, or at least some of the anomalies. However, this is because we've kept the best for last. 
Let's begin with the spiral path. As the name suggests, this is a gravel path that, when walked one way, functions normally, but when walked the other way, goes continuously uphill. The foundation studied the path and, using this knowledge, learned how to create their own anomalies. However, things got out of hand and SCPs they didn't create started to show up all around the world. Moving on, we have three proposals which all revolve around one thing, the SCP Wiki Writers. The database, story of your life, and past and future all consist in the fact that when an SCP is written, it will instantly spawn in the SCP Wiki's reality. So it's entirely possible that one of them, or maybe even all three of them, are the reason why anomalies exist in the SCP world. And finally, we have a sheaf of papers. This stack of papers details a new SCP every time it is read, and unsurprisingly, all SCPs which were detailed in these papers also appear on our planet right after. Of course, this begs the question who would be stupid enough to read these papers thousands of times, knowing how dangerous this is, but the Chaos Insurgency only need to get their hands on these papers once, and it would be more than enough. As such, this proposal could definitely be real. So as we see, there's multiple proposals which hint at a possible origin for all, or at least some of the SCPs. The Scarlet King, The Factory, Dr. Wondertainment, The Spiral Pad, The Database and A Sheaf of Papers all explain the existence of at least some of the known anomalies. As such, some of them, or maybe even all of them, could be a part of SCP-001's real identity. However, it is impossible to narrow down the proposals any further, because there's 30 of them for a reason. The Foundation just doesn't want us to know the truth, and they've done a good job concealing it. So what do you think? Which of the proposals are real? Let us know in the comments. Please leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more SCP videos.